What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Natto and I thank you all for stopping by the video today. We have a great one lined up where I'm talking about the Air Jordan 1 Royal Toe and my resale prediction for the shoe. I will say if you guys are interested in checking out a full in-hand review and on feet, I will have my video uploaded tomorrow. I actually got a pair early from the sneakers app when they did the special drop not too long ago and I will have that video uploaded for you guys tomorrow. So be sure to check back and check that out. And then if you guys want to find new places to pick these up on Saturday in terms of retailers of where to buy them for retail price, check the link in my description down below. I have actually gone and created a site list for different spots that are dropping them for retail price. So if you don't know where to buy them or want to find a few more spots to try, head to the link in the description to check that out. But for this video today, we are going to dive in and break down my resale prediction on the sneaker. I won't make this video too long, but I'll give you guys my perspective and overview of where I see this shoe in the market currently, where I think prices will be kind of right around now, where they'll be this weekend during the drop, and then where they'll fall by the end of next week. So we'll do a full spectrum of talking about where the shoe is going to be in terms of resale for you guys to kind of pick and choose what you want to do in terms of picking this shoe, picking the shoe up. So one final time, I want to thank you all for stopping by the video today, and we are just going to jump right into it. We're going to dive into this resale prediction of the Air Jordan 1 Royal Toe. So let's go. So here we are with the shoes. I've just pulled up the sneakers page real quickly first. Of course, you guys know the shoe is dropping on sneakers. You got the pictures here and the information. So like I mentioned, Saturday, May 9th, 10 a.m., 170 bucks. It's a really good looking shoe. It's a great looking Jordan 1 that a lot of people are definitely interested in. So for this video and kind of what I typically do for these resale predictions is head over to StockX. And what I want to check out over here is the Royal Toe page. We'll take a look at where the shoe is currently and I'll give you guys my opinion on what I think is going to happen. So if we check it out at first, you can see there are already sales happening. Like I mentioned, um, there were a few kind of early drops on this shoe. So there's already been 2,300 pairs traded on StockX for a price premium of about 46% and the average price is around 250 bucks. But if we check out all the sizes here and kind of get a baseline of what we're looking at, you can see some of these smaller sizes if we kind of go with the typical seven and a half to 13. Uh, some of these other sizes are just kind of incorrect in terms of pricing or unicorn sizes, whatever it might be for right now. So we're only gonna focus on the typical size run. So you can see these smaller sizes are a little bit more expensive than the larger sizes, but still fairly decent across the board in terms of being pretty close together. So what I wanted to compare this to at the very least is the Royal Toe compared to the Court Purple. So I think both are fairly comparable in terms of the appeal and attraction in terms of Air Jordan 1 and having a really good Air Jordan 1 colorway. So we'll come back to this, but first off, I do want to take a look at, you know, we'll pick a baseline size at a size 10 right here. So you can see the bid and ask, the spread is pretty close together. Someone can buy the shoe right now for 235 bucks. Someone is willing to pay $230 right now. And I'm not logged in, but you can, you get the idea. It's pretty close. I was going to try and pull up the sales data, but I'm sure there's lots of sales happening. You can kind of see here, a number of pairs were already sold on May 7th. So the, the spread is pretty close and people are definitely, you know, willing to spend a good amount of money already on the shoe. We come down to a 13, someone would pay 210. If we go up to a nine, someone would pay 244. So people are definitely looking to buy the shoe at currently right now on Thursday when I'm recording it. So if we get that in mind and kind of keep an eye on that for now, if we head over to the core purples and see where they are, they came out a little bit ago at this point. So they came out, I guess, actually almost a month ago, April 11th was their release date. And if we check it out here, the small sizes are a bit higher that size eight and seven and a half pretty high at this point. Those have consistently kind of gone up and then the larger sizes being closer to 220, 225. So keeping all that in mind and hopping back over here, for my opinion on what I think is gonna happen, first we'll talk about just an overall trend for this weekend that is something we saw with the Fire Red 5s and the DMP 6s. So because this shoe is not really dropping in stores because most stores are closed at this point, the price is gonna spike this weekend. Not many people have them in hand currently, so as they sell out online, people are gonna wanna buy them immediately. So in that way, if you're looking to sell it, I would try and sell it as close to the weekend as possible or just as soon as you can. If you're looking to buy it from the other perspective, say you miss out on retail and you want to buy it uh, for resale price, I would wait until later next week because prices will be the highest kind of on Saturday, Sunday, and maybe a little into Monday. But that's kind of the general trend is that the price will spike a little bit over the weekend and then continue to gradually go down as people get their pairs in hand. But specifically in terms of price, I could see the spike on these getting close to 300 bucks. I think maybe 275 ish on StockX would be 
more realistic, but I think there's a shot that some sizes could hit 300 bucks. But at the very least, they're going to spike a bit higher than they are now, kind of across the board. Big sizes may be a little bit less than small sizes, but I think that could be about the height of the spike is 275. And where I see prices settling at the end or kind of by the middle of next week as people get their pairs in, I'd say it's a little bit lower than this. I think maybe 240 ish for small sizes and 220, uh, 215 to 220 for larger sizes. That's what I could see happening. I think there could be some fluctuation, but generally that's what I think is going to happen. The general trend of it going up over time uh, this weekend and then kind of settling down throughout the end of next week. But that's my opinion. I think it's going to follow pretty similar, to, similarly to where the core purples were and what they did. That's effectively what they did. Similar in price as well, the spike and then kind of decline. And you can see that even since they've gradually gone up, at least in terms of these small sizes. So that's what I think is going to happen. I think the, the colorways are pretty comparable. They're both solid. I don't know which one I think I like better, but they're both really nice. I'm interested to check out the Royal Toes in hand, like I mentioned. So stay tuned for that video. We do have that coming tomorrow, so be sure to check back for that. Again, be sure to check the link in my description for the site list that I mentioned. If you guys do want to pick these up for whatever reason on Saturday, be sure to check that out down below. But that's going to wrap up the video. Like I said, I didn't want to make this too long, and I think we've covered pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave them in the, com in the comment section down below or over on social media. Those links are in my description as well. But I want to thank you one final time for stopping by the video and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video today. And that way you can stay up to date with what I post in the future. But thanks one final time and I'll catch you guys real soon on the next video.